Welcome, Leo and Cross Watchers. This is Mystic Intuition bringing you a general love reading. Please know there are always timestamps in the description box for those of you that want to skip ahead. This is for the collective Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's going on here? Okay, so there's someone who in a way kind of feels stuck. They may have a lot of security, but what you're kind of learning is it's like someone who oftentimes, you know, tries to make plans with you or makes promises, things that just kind of keep falling through. And I think this is someone who does really like you, but there is some type of like obstacle here when it comes to like a meeting place or coming together or some type of like social event. It's like this person, for some of you, this is someone that you've made plans with many times in the past, but they keep falling through or something keeps coming up. Yeah, they may be someone very successful. They may have a, like a lot of responsibilities when it comes to their job. Like a lot of their excuses can kind of come in with, oh, I got busy with work or, oh, this project or, oh, this type of thing. Um I mean, this person does feel somehow like steady in your life, but they haven't really been reliable. Like you really do enjoy this person. You have a lot of fun together, but it's like they, they're always like canceling or falling through or like always constantly waiting to like come together. There's always something. There's always just something happening around them where they always seem very busy or very distracted. And you're just kind of feel at a place at a time right now where you're like, you know what? I need some kind of answers. I need some kind of clarity. Like I'm trying to look at things so carefully, but is, am I missing something here? That's what I keep going back to. Am I missing something? Are they hiding something? Do they really have feelings or is this a game to them? It's like you feel like they do, but it's like you get such like mixed uh, things from this person. You don't they're just very back and forth. Like they're unreliable. I don't know, I'm getting like this person lets their guard down around you. They're themselves with you. They laugh with you. They have fun with you. You enjoy each other. But when it comes down to it, they're not putting like that physical effort that's necessary here. It's like you feel like you're doing all of the work. Or they keep letting you down or disappointing you in some way. Let's see. Your energy, their energy, what's between you and this person, the obstacle or like the main thing blocking this connection, their thoughts, their feelings, intentions, and any potential actions that you can expect from this person. Okay. If you are interested in booking a private reading with me, the link to my Etsy shop is in the description box below. I'm currently running a 35% off sale on all personal readings until the end of February 2024. No code is needed. Okay. The Tower. Strong Scorpio energy here. We also have... Uh, Cancer Pisces, very strong Leo, a little bit of Earth. I mean, we have pretty much everything represented here, but um, the strongest signs are definitely Leo and water. I feel like you are very independent, very hardworking, very successful, like very, very, very accomplished person. You know your worth. Nine of Pentacles, male or female. This is like that pre-Empress energy. Knowing what you want, working hard for these things, very beautiful. People are very drawn to you inside and out. Like, you know what you deserve. You know what you want. And I feel like you know that this person also sees you in this way as like, I mean, you're a catch. You're the complete package. You know, anyone would be lucky to have you or be with you. But I think for you, there's just something that comes to me of you don't fall in love easily or you don't really feel sparks often with people. And there's just something very special, very different, like something very significant about this connection and what you feel for this person. And that's why you've held on to it, because even though things have been a bit back and forth, there is this very undeniable, like magnetic type of chemistry connection between you and this person. But I think you're beginning to feel like they've got to be hiding something. Like there's just something that's just not adding up here. Like you have this amazing connection, 
but maybe you haven't met their family yet, or you've got this amazing connection, but they don't tell you how they feel about you, or you have this amazing connection, but you don't know where they live. You know, it's like, there's just something that's lacking. It's like when they're present, I mean, it's incredible, but then it's like they kind of disappear or they isolate and it just kind of leaves you questioning, wanting, yearning for some kind of information. And I think you're just kind of tired of these games because you know that you could, you know, you have multiple options. You have other suitors, people who are interested in pursuing you. But the thing about it is, is that I feel like some of you have rejected other offers because you really like this person. And like I said, you don't feel those kind of like natural organic chemistry often like you don't often feel this kind of spark with someone and so it's like kind of hard to just walk away from what you're feeling for this person now in their energy with that nine of wands they are very guarded like they're not opening up to you hmm what's between you and this person well, a couple things. Again, we don't read gender, we read energy here. So male, female, however that resonates for you. Um, but I'm going to read it as I see it. But again, it could be a flip for some of you. I'm seeing you as queen of pentacles. So I feel like you're someone, like I said, regardless of gender, who really truly wants a traditional type of relationship. I mean, here you are as the nine of pentacles. You want, you know, marriage, commitment, the house, the hamster, the guinea pig, the turtle, whatever, whatever it is that like your dream, fantasy, vision, family life, that's what you want. Somebody you can build a future with. It's not like you're, you're not impatient. You're not asking for it today, but you want to be seeing these very stable, secure steps moving forward. You don't want to feel like you're putting your life on hold for someone. You know your worth, you know what you deserve, and you want stability, commitment. You want to see this person making a genuine effort. And for your person, they also recognize you as someone who wants these things. Someone who they can actually see as like long-term marriage material, which I mean, I, I hate saying things like that because I mean, I think everyone is truly marriage material, but it just depends on who you're with and like if you're compatible or not. But that's what they're telling me. It's like this person views you as like, you know, check, checking the boxes all the things that they look for in a partner, I mean, you, you know, you've got that and then some, right? So, I mean, you're a catch and they do, they do recognize that. But the obstacle or the issue, the ace of wands, a couple things with this. The part of the issue is you haven't taken a step beyond passion, behind, beyond like the lust, the, the attraction, the chemistry, the flirty, the playful, the, you haven't, t you haven't like moved in together. Some of you have not met their family or, you know, haven't spent significant time with this person. They're very back and forth. They haven't really made you a solid offer. But not only that, with the Ace of Wands, I feel like this person is uncertain if they really want a traditional type of relationship. And no, that doesn't necessarily mean that this person wants to go and like, I don't know, sow their wild oats or whatever, whatever you call it. You know, they don't, it's not necessarily just that, but they may be kind of liking this flirty, playful, non-traditional type of connection. They may be uncertain with it, whether or not, even though they can see a future with you, they're not ready for that step. But I mean, in a situation like this, communication is key. When they think about you, they think about you, this is Leo energy, as someone very strong, very ambitious, hardworking, you know what you want, you know, you're very proud and very accomplished, you know, they are very you know, amazed by you, inspired by you, many people are. What do they feel? Well, again, this is what I find like the most interesting part about this. What do they feel? They feel that they're in love with you that they have very strong romantic intimate feelings for you a lot of passion but there are like feelings this person has love for you also king of cups you know they want to make you feel safe and secure with them but sometimes with king of cups especially as like a feeling sometimes it can be a person who feels things very strongly but they're not always the best at verbalizing their feelings so this may be someone who likes to show you how they feel opposed to telling you right their intentions, though, we see an apology from this person. Because for some of you, there could have been some kind of falling out, or maybe you distanced yourself, or you were just kind of tired of this back and forth, tired of the unreliability, you know, this person not fully always showing up for you. And now they're wanting to apologize for that because they recognize that you're pulling away and they don't want to lose you. 
in their actions if you're if you will allow them to because again you ultimately always have free will okay it's always your choice your decision and again this is collective so this could be for a hundred viewers a thousand more ten thousand I mean so take what resonates and leave what doesn't some of you you do want to hear from this person you do want to work things out some of you are more cautious maybe some of you are just know for certain you're done but in this person's actions, we see them kind of putting you on a pedestal and wanting to kind of show you some kind of consistent effort or work, making apologies, trying to make amends, trying to win you over, trying to get you to hear them out. <clears throat> this person, I feel like the issue was in the past, they knew you wanted more and they weren't prepared to give that. They kind of liked things as it was. However, in this like losing you, you kind of pulling away, becoming guarded against them. It's like they're putting things very quickly into perspective of, I don't want to lose Leo. I don't want to lose this person in my life. Um, <clears throat> so this is about coming together and expression or exchange of feelings. Because they're missing you. They're grieving what, what should have, would have, could have been. They may have rejected you in the past. And now they're feeling rejected because you're holding back from them. And they don't like the way that this feels. They're waiting for an answer from you. They're going to express love. They are very proud. They are very much afraid of getting hurt or rejected again here. But they are going to put themselves out there because they don't want to lose this. So that's what I have for you guys. Thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. As always, I wish you strength and many blessings. Bye-bye.